Hi, this is a quick 720p resolution video about something that I've been thinking about commenting before uh, because I think it's important and interesting and that's regarding the reduced sperm production in the Western world uh, among men. It's been reduced to about 40 to 50 percent. Why I did um, doing this video now is because even the Swedish radio is um, uh, like it's hit the mainstream news uh, so many times and I'm always baffled by the kind of uh, ignorance about what's causing that you know we smoke less we drink less we do less drugs blah 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 well it's kind of obvious what's causing that let's look at the men who don't have the problem I don't know if they include southern uh, I mean the Balkans Eastern Europe Middle East, Africa, where does the border go for that sperm reduction? But look at it, Western world, I mean, United States, uh, you know, Western Europe and so on. Those are the places where you get the latest technology immediately, the latest Wi-Fi, cellular transmissions and so on and so on. That's where you get the latest sort of um, antiperspirative um, you know against sweating and so on you get the latest makeup you get the latest plastic toys and and all that stuff which is toxic so uh, and if we take the last 20 years men have been walking around with uh, cell phones just near their penis and testicles basically in their pockets waiting for a message or a phone call of course that is uh, is affecting us and uh, all the plastics, you know, um, in um, not only like, I mean, uh, people, you might think like, okay, I'm not rubbing myself against plastic, but what kind of uh, washing um, mm, thing do you use? You know, uh, what do you eat from? Uh, do you microwave your food? Do you eat out of plastic containers? You know, th there are so many... Um, aspects of these shoes for example the soles in sneakers um, but basically my point is like look at the thing the western man has and look at for example the thing that um, let's say african man sub-saharan african man uh, has or and doesn't have of course they have their problems but they're not reporting this statistic from those areas. So it could be, if all of this is true and not just some big fake news, that it's the latest kind of inventions, plastic packages, you know, um, which is all made in China. <clears throat> uh, and it's all very, very cheap. Sneakers are cheap. Technology is cheap. Everything is cheap. So there's a reason for the cheapness. All those chemicals are being absorbed into us. And of course, this uh, these studies are saying this has happened over the last, say, 40 years. And if you take the last 20 years, we have cellular phones in our pockets. If you do have it, not all men have, but that affects uh, you too. And it can also be, you know, many people sit and work and have jeans and have pants uh, that look good when you're standing up and walking really cool you're such a cowboy right but when you sit down which you do probably at your work you have that belt that sort of thing going into your stomach not much you know if you have a a, a small belly it can kind of uh, you know gets in in there even if you don't have even if, even if you have a six-pack flat stomach it still goes in there and uh, tightens up some organs whatever all those things are actually um, affecting us in my opinion it's a uh, uh, how do you say accumulation of things including vaccines also uh, the amount of vaccines have been increased over the last 40 years in the western world so and it, this is amazing because they never point this out in these articles it's always like okay there's a reduction we need to research more so I'm sure somebody has done research. Why don't you write about it? So maybe they can't name the things, you know, like plastic because everything around us is plastic. And maybe they can't mention 3G, wireless, 4G, all these connections we are having in our pockets um, for some reasons. I don't know. Or the whole news is fake. But um, so... 
And even another thing is also like um, we have, I've, I've mentioned this before, like that's the kind of physical thing, all of these things I've mentioned. I just want to conclude the video with something more mental. Like uh, we have been in the Western world sort of uh, destroying the male and female balance. So we are getting a so, sort of hyper exaggeration of something quasi female like you know third wave feminism and we are getting something of a quasi uh male culture you know uh, men going their own way or men sort of just you know having this hyper exaggerated ideas of uh, what a man is and what a man isn't so that has also increased and if you look at uh, kind of in media even in children's media from what i've noticed there's always this sort of idea of a father, the silly kind of goofy father. Oh, there you are. You know, something like that. There's always this, there's never like, there's very rare occasions where you have a, um, okay, maybe in the Lord of the Rings, you have some magician or some wise man in some fantasy movie. But most, most of the cases, there's this, this kind of a goofy, uh, wild, uh, white male character. Um, and even if you're young and remember those TV programs, um, like, uh, what was his name? Al Bundy, you know, sitting there with his hands down the pants and, um, you know, all these sort of degenerate things which are pushed in media from a young age, those might affect the male kind of the Western male culture, uh, culture uh, mentally then it becomes physical. But I think the biggest culprit here is some kind of an accumulative, um, did I say that right? Accumulative effect of various toxins um, from food, from, uh, you know, everything from sneakers, new sneakers, you know, where the chemicals are still kind of uh, waiting to jump on your feet and so on, uh, from um, cosmetic products, um, you know, people want to stop sweat, so they put this sort of uh, plastic and uh, aluminium things that enters their skin. Uh, sunscreen, uh, sunscreen, sun protection, which isn't natural, that goes into your skin and reacts to the sun. All of that is accumulative together with the wireless technology. The, um, uh, I mean, the list can go on and on and on and on. Vaccines, uh, what more? Um, air quality, whatever. So it's easy to focus on one of them. Like, okay, I'm just going to take this pair of sneakers and this uh, smartphone and go into a lab. And okay, you see here, nothing dangerous. It's such a small um, amount of whatever you're measuring, but it's the everyday use from, from a childhood age that men are exposed to, which is the culprit here. And it's kind of too um, holistic f to be presented in a paper or in media because there always has to be like one thing and that's why they make these silly articles like oh we have stopped smoking we don't do drugs that much so what can it be we need more research there are, there is research you just have to look for it um, and uh, that was that. Um, either all of that is a kind of a fake, a big fake news, you know, just some misunderstanding or, or, or a lie being promoted like overpopulation was from the early 70s until um, maybe like 10 years ago. Now it's proven that, you know, overpopulation is not the problem. It doesn't exist. It was all a lie. Please look that up. I leave a link for that too uh, below the video. So there are these instances, you know, even when smoking was promoted, where we have some lies just circulating for decades until they are just smashed out of the uh, room. Uh, or this might be happening. Um, we have uh, lower, fert uh, not fertility levels or um, uh, rates, rate of producing babies you know every country is going down around the world so um yeah i mean uh, one has to question the news itself but if that's the case uh, my opinion is that it's also a cumulative and uh, based around the everyday things we use now the easy way to solve that of course is to hey if you eat good food you know your sweats 
uh, won't come that easy. It won't smell bad. If if you smell bad when you're sweating, you're 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 having some kind of imbalance. Sweat should be something basically sexy, attractive. Um, <clears throat> of course, I mean as long as you wash every day uh, and so on. Uh, but there are alternatives which are based <clears throat> on uh, natural ingredients. And today, also in the Western world, we have all of those products. So you basically just move your hand in a shelf and pick something else and pay maybe, uh, you know, everything from three to five, ten euros more, perhaps. But you get something much better and, uh, and so on more of toxic reduction stuff in some other video in the future but i just wanted to share the thoughts on this take care and all the best ciao